Hi, and welcome to Area of Quadrilaterals and Triangles, Day 1. So what we're going to talk about today is squares. Squares. Okay, so just so we all remember, squares means that a square is a polygon that has say, the same side length on all four sides. So we're going to look at this here. You'll notice that it's two on this side and two on this side. And it doesn't matter if it's centimeters, inches, or feet, or whatever. This is going to be the same, the way that you calculate the area. So the area is the space in the middle. It's a two-dimensional space. And you see area in lots of different places in your life, but you can even think of like a tile floor as a way of measuring area. So you'll see that this is, if you start here, one, two, and if you start here, one, two. So these two by two, you'll see that there are four squares. Well, that's the area, four squared units. And how you find this is you're gonna do two times two. So two times two, equals four, and you can literally see the four square units there. And then whatever the unit is, I'm just gonna say units, and we will say squared. That little two raised up like that says squared. So this is four units squared. So we can say that the formula for finding the area of a square is side times side equals the area. And if it was in inches, then it would become inches squared. Remember that little two means squared. So the area is equal to square units. The side is one dimensional. And the area is two dimensional. Let's look at some examples. So here's a square that is an eight centimeter by eight centimeter square. Now I could draw all the lines in there both ways and I could count all the squares and that would equal the same as just doing eight times eight, which equals our our value that we're trying to figure out, our area. So if we do eight times eight, we get 64. So our area equals 64. But it's not just gonna be 64 because it's not 64 in length. It's 64 of these little squares that are filling in that big square. So it's gonna be 64 centimeters squared is equal to the area. Okay, and let's just do one more example real quick. So we have a five by five square. So we're gonna do five times five is equal to the area. And that would be 25 is equal to the area. And this isn't just any old 25, it's not a length. It means that 25 squares fit in here evenly. And these would be square inches. Okay, so that is how you find the area of a square in a nutshell. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.